Hi there, I'm Paddy Byrne and welcome to another episode of Free Falling Through Canvas Apps. In today's episode, we're going to look at environment variables and those EOM config records, that entity that I created to keep all my config in, I'm going to replace some of the records in there with environment variables and use them in our app. And we'll also look at how the environment variables are represented within the common data model. Let's go. So we want to replace all these records here that are stored in our custom EOM config entity. Because this is where we are holding all those little bits of information that we use in the configuration of our app. And we're going to replace them with environment variables. Now environment variables work within solutions. So if your app isn't already part of a solution, you can add it by add existing app, canvas app, and then add the app that you're working on to the solution. Solutions are a means of packaging up groups of functionality. And they can also be used to move functionality and customizations between environments. So let's go ahead and create an environment variable. So you click new and environment variable. For this first one, we're gonna replace the base URL record. We'll choose text. And I'm not gonna choose a default value, but I'll choose a current value of the value that's currently held in the corresponding record that we want to replace. While we're here, we'll also create one for our app ID. Now the key bits from the documentation are the bits that mention these two entities here and that they're consumed just like entity record data. So to better understand how they're represented in the common data service, I went back to a tool I'm very familiar with, Advanced Find. So you can open that from any model driven app. We'll first look for the definition. And we see our two variables there. And if we open one up, you can see the attributes that we added. It's also been given a schema name, and we've got our values down here. Now it looks like this is a one to many relationship, but at the moment, you can only add one value per variable. So it looks like they're going to expand on that later at a later date. And if we double click in the value, you just see the attributes that we expect. So let's replace the references to the EOM config custom entity with references to environment variables. So the first thing we'll need to do is add those two entities to our data sources. Then we'll change the definition of our base URL context variable on our invisible property to look up from the environment variable values data source and we want to find the value where the environment variable definition attribute the display name of that is equal to the display name that we specified and we need to use the dot value property of that attribute then we do the same for the app id variable again we're just looking up to the environment variable values entity and filtering by the environment variable definition display name. And just to check whether they've been declared correctly, let's add some labels to the screen. Populate the text property of those labels with our context variables. Then run the app, ensure that the on visible is triggered, they look the same, and then a final test by testing the functionality that they're used in, which is the launch functionality. And that all looks as if they work fine. So in this episode, I replaced the app ID and the base URL with environment variables. I'm gonna go ahead and create environment variables for the other EOM config records that are in there. And that means we can delete that EOM config entity out of the system altogether. There's been a need for environment variables or a similar solution in the world of Dynamics 365 for sales and customer service for quite some time now. 
because just about every deployment I work in with any kind of integration has a, a config entity of some sort. And if you've got, especially if you've got two different developers working on two different projects, two different integrations, you end up having multiple config entities to hold their different configurations. But now they're all going to be tidied up in one place called environment variables. So thanks very much to the product team for making this feature available. See you next time.